Hey there all craft beer lovers. Thank you very much for joining me for this beer review and thank you for joining me on this trip to the United States, to Denver, Colorado. Guys, we're heading back for a revisit at the Great Divide Brewing Company. Take a look at this big fella. It's their Maple Pecan Yeti Imperial Stout. Uh, described as a stout with maple syrup and candied pecans. This one, guys, weighs in at 9.5% ABV in a big stovepipe can. Uh, there we go. One pint and 3.2 fluid ounces or 568 milliliter European measurements. There you get the Yeti himself walking with this bucket of maple in it. Uh, there you go. So you got the text there. I'm not going to read it to you. You can read it for yourself. But they say basically that this is a uh, beer with added Vermont maple syrup and candy pecans to create a roasty, nutty, maple-infused toothsome treat. Hunker down with this warming elixir and keep an eye out for mythical creatures. So, guys, maple syrup. Do love it. Big, big can on this one, guys. With that said, let's dive in, see what we get. Radio. Okie dokie. There we go. Yeah, some nice smoke on it. Let's give it a good old pour in this old glass. I'm going to give it a good old sweet slow pour to get as much beer in as possible. Okie dokie. Let's stop right there. Right. So, in the view, will you look at that? Two, three fingers worth of a uh, brown colored head, uh, small bubbles on top, Jet black bear in the glass. No light whatsoever bleeding through. That's pitch black. That's a pitch black bear, guys. Pretty good carbonation on it. There you go. Maple pecan. There is a nuttiness in there. To be honest, I'm a little bit surprised because the smell doesn't really reek of pecan or maple. There is a faint nuttiness, faint fruitiness. Almost like a faint soapiness on the nose. Could be the hops. Yeah, so I mean, it doesn't really smell the part, to be honest. But as we say... It's all in that taste. So let's dive in and see what we get. Cheers, all. Okay, okay. You know what? Let's go again, guys. Let's go for a second sip to get a really good evaluation out of this one. All right, so... What do I think of it? Well, let me tell you, it's a big disappointment. I was expecting a heavy hitter, a big, uh, you know, uh, a big A beep of a beer, a big, really, really lovely maple pecan in your face, American Imperial Stout. And what do I get? A pretty boring uh, standard imperial stout. 
little bit of roasted malt in there, maybe a faint whiff of sweetness initially. A little bit of bitterness coming through at the back end. Uh, well, I'm mighty surprised if I don't know what I, I mean, I, I do, I do uh, lack the words here, guys. I mean, there is a faint sweet initial hint. But I mean, do I get a big, big whack of maple? No. Do I get a big whack of pecan, perhaps? No. Don't get any of that. And I'm really, really disappointed, to be honest. Uh, and a little bit shocked as well, because I do like Great Divide Brewing Company. For me, they have done a lot of good beers. I have reviewed plenty of beers from these guys. You know, I've done their, uh, you know, I think I've done their uh, regular kind of annual Imperial Stout. I have reviewed their Hibernation Ale, their Christmas Ale. And I think I reviewed uh, some other beers as well from these guys. But this one, I was hoping for a big ass. Sorry if I'm using a little bit of profanity here. I do apologize. But uh, I was expecting a big, you know, big whack of maple and pecan in their lovely, sweet, tooth-rotting imperial stout. That's not what I'm getting. I'm sorry. But I'm really, really surprised at this one. For me, guys, uh, can't recommend it. Not at all. But I'm going to drink it. Uh, I mean, as a regular imperial stout, it's okay. But it doesn't really add those things. And that's what they are marketing on the can, right? For me, two out of five. What a bloody disappointment this is. Thank you for watching.